A man in Scottsville has found his calling, recreating iconic pop culture vehicles and vehicles lost to history. WBKO's Derek Parham introduces us to the man behind the machines. Matt Stinson, owner of Whiskey Ridge Motors, has recreated iconic vehicles like the Mystery Machine, the Ghostbusters hearse, Jurassic Park Jeeps, and many, many more. A lot of times people ask me what I do and I tell them it's like Disney World, we, we sell the dream. <laughs> you know, anything, anything that you can dream about, we'll do it. So uh, movie cars, antique cars, you know, rare exotics, everything like that. Stinson's Garage is largely a one-man operation, with the exception of the occasional helping hand. At the moment, it's just me and my son when he can help me, which he's in high school, so he doesn't get to help a lot, but when he can, he's a, he's a pretty good worker. What began as a project with his son quickly turned into a business. We just wanted to build the first car. Yeah, we didn't build it to sell it. Um, and matter of fact, the first Eclipse we bought, when we bought it, it was, it was like $500. With time and creativity, Stinson's cars took off, beginning with the mystery machine. I never would have thought it, but uh, we put it on there and it went viral and had millions of views and people were worrying me to death trying to send deposits. And the guy that ended up buying it actually was a war veteran and uh, he does work with children. And so I made sure he got it. Whiskey Ridge now ships their vehicles to buyers all over the world. I was gonna build another Ghostbuster car, um, I, we drove to Delaware and got it, and it took like three years to get it. Anyway, I ended up getting it, but uh, I sold it maybe three weeks ago, and it's going to Australia. Stinson says that while the pop culture vehicles get the attention, his passion lies in restoring cars from history. I mean, I love old cars. That's, a, that's my main thing. Uh, the movie cars are just interesting, but if you can find something you like to do, you definitely do it better. You're willing to put that extra, that extra, 10 or 90 percent to get it to the finish line. Reporting in Scottsville, Derek Parham, WBKO News.